Judge Peter from the University of Michigan. How are you doing? I'm okay. Good. Um, I wanted to, if it was okay with you, talk to you a little bit about your uh, experience with smoking today. Would that be okay? Sure. Okay, great. Um, why don't you just tell me a little bit about your history with smoking and um, where you're at? Well, I've been smoking for an awfully long time, since I was 16, and um, I am starting to get kind of concerned about my health, um, and I'm kind of thinking that uh, at some point I'm going to quit. <laughs> okay, so you're worried about your health. It sounds like maybe you feel like it's kind of catching up to you at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then tell me, are, are there certain things that you've been experiencing? What causes your concern? Well, yeah, there's a couple of things, actually. Okay. My own health, um, I have been running into um, some real shortness of breath lately. Um, I swim uh, three days a week and have for years, and I've found that um, I, I'm not able to finish my whole swim. Uh, it's getting, I'm getting short of breath, and it's getting a little bit scary. And the other thing, uh, my grandson had an episode of asthma. He's never had that before, and my daughter has taken they strongly suggested he not be around smokers. And I never smoke with him in the room, but he's, you know, he's in our house a lot. So those two things are really, really scaring me. Now. Yeah, it sounds like you're really scared about your own health and then maybe how your smoking might be affecting your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you've been smoking for a long time. Um, you know, uh, what, so it's really this health issue that's causing you to think about quitting this time? Yeah, more or less. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and tell me a little bit about um, when you smoke. Do you smoke at home in the morning? Are there certain triggers? Oh, I smoke very predictably mm -hmm. all day long. Um, I smoke first thing in the morning. I smoke after every meal. I smoke in the car. I smoke when the phone rings. Um, I smoke when I get stressed and upset about things. It's a quick fix. So I smoke very predictably throughout the day. So it's, it's a habit, but it also is a, a, a stress relief way for you to relax and mm -hmm. things get mm -hmm. intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Um, can you tell me something that you you like about smoking? I guess you kind of mentioned it. It seems like it's a yeah, stress relief. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's yeah. uh, it, it's a quick fix. Yeah. Um, I know that there's, you know, a lot of, uh, it, it just finishes things. It starts my day, it finishes the meal. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I start the car, I like the cigarette, I, I don't even know if I, it, it's so automatic, it's so much of a habit. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing for the most part, although I know it's not a good thing for my health. I mean, yeah, so on the one hand, you know that it's not a good thing for your health, but on the other hand, it's something that you enjoy doing, it's Absolutely. enjoyable to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, uh, what, what, what is something that you, do, you don't like? I mean, I guess you kind of mentioned that you are active. You want to be healthy, so mm -hmm. something you don't like is how it's affecting you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my grandson's health. I know that, I mean, it's... it's it's a, it's a dirty habit. It's a, you know, it's, it's expensive. It's, you know, there are all sorts of things that are negative about it. Mm -hmm. It's bad for you, but it's, um, it's hard to it's hard to break it. Mm -hmm. It's hard to break that whole pattern. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about any attempts that you've made in the past? Just to... I've tried three times. Mm -hmm. I have failed three times. Um, it, it is an awful experience um, because you, I just feel really awful mm -hmm. when I don't smoke. I mean, I really feel terrible. And um, and then I also am extremely crabby and very hard to be around when I don't smoke. So it's very hard on everybody else as well. So that, that scared me because I, I, you know, if I don't have my cigarettes and I don't have that nicotine going through, <clears throat> I don't turn into a very nice person. It sounds like you're really terrified of those withdrawal symptoms since you've been through it before. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say terrified. I'm, I'm very uh, concerned about it because um, I know that, that that it will affect everybody around me. Okay. So you're really concerned about you and and how your demeanor will come up when you sure. 
Yeah, no. yeah. It's tough for everybody. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned family and your grandson and being concerned about his health, but I see that you are also married. Does your partner um, also smoke as well? My husband does not. Okay, no. does not smoke. So that's kind of maybe someone that you might be able to lean on. Well, yeah. He, I mean, he's very supportive. Mm -hmm. um, he, he would like me to quit smoking. He knows how important it is for our grandson at this point, and he's concerned about my health as well. Um, but I also know that he's um, he will sort of take the brunt of all of my crabbiness. <laughs> so I'm sure he's probably a little bit nervous about that too. Sure. So you're concerned maybe about how that might affect your relationship. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Okay. He may have to go away for a while, or I may have to go away for a while. Okay. <laughs> So you mentioned a couple of things. You mentioned family being very important to you and also your health. And I wondered how you thought that was kind of uh, connected to quitting smoking a little bit more. If you could talk to me a little bit more, you kind of mentioned something. But I didn't know what you mean. Um, so you mentioned that you know, your family is very important mm -hmm. to you. And I was just wondering how you saw that in connection to quitting smoking. Well, that's a uh, real strong reason that I'm trying to quit. OK. Yeah. okay. I mean, that's, that is. My health and my grandson's health right now are the, the reasons. Okay, great, great. So that sounds like it's a major motivator. Big time, time. yeah. Okay, great. Um, so then I was just curious how important is smoking to you on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being not very important, 10 being extremely important. It's important in my day, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a big part of my day. Okay. Um, but again, it's one of those things that I really need to get out of my day. So, uh, but it is important right now. I mean, I, I depend on my cigarettes throughout the day. Right. And so, how important is it to you to quit smoking at this point in time? If you could put a number a one, week. Quit? yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I would say it's it's up there between one and ten. Right? Yeah, one being not very important at all, and ten being very important. Oh, I'd say eight. eight. Okay, that's great. So why why would you say um, it's not a five or six? Why is it so important to you? Well, I think with this latest news with my grandson, it really moved it up. In fact, that's the reason I called to come in. I just I feel like uh, um, that's really really pushing it. Yeah. You've really been thinking about this. This is really something that you're thinking it's time to do. Yep. So along those lines, again on a scale of one to ten, how motivated do you feel in doing this? Would you say it's similar to it's motivated? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how confident do you feel? One to ten. Well, that's where I really kind of fall down because I, I've tried it before. I, I know I cannot do it by myself. Um, I would say I'm maybe like a three. A three. Wow. Okay. What would you say would uh, what would it take for you to get maybe up to even a four or five? Uh. Probably, um, I, I guess one of the things when it, whenever I've tried to quit before, um, I've tried cold turkey, I tried the gum. Um, the first two times I really didn't even think about it. I just, my kids sort of pushed me into quitting. And uh, so I, I guess I feel like if I had a better idea of how to succeed, how can I really do it this time? So I need to have a better plan or a better um, some strategies or some something that would make it um, make it feel like I could maybe do it. Okay, you know? and that that would really make a difference. Okay, that's I guess what I'm looking for is right. how do I do this? All right. So it sounds like you're kind of frustrated with some past attempts. You definitely have something in the past, mm -hmm. looking for something a little longer term. Mm -hmm. So we can definitely talk about some options maybe and some plans for. Uh, okay. Um, so if, if you don't mind, I just kind of want to summarize what I'm hearing from you, and then we can talk mm -hmm. about maybe some future plans. So it sounds like to me um, that you know for your health that it's really important for you to quit. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you like smoking as part of your everyday routine, and it's also a way for you to release stress. Mm -hmm. But also, um, you know, you really value your family, and you know you're really worried about your grandson's health, especially with this. Um, does that sound mm -hmm. right to you? Is there anything absolutely. that you would want to add or amend to that list? No, I think that that you're absolutely right. And, and my grandson right now is, is such an important piece to this, and I just I need to do it. Okay, great. Well, it sounds like you're thinking about really making this change, and I was wondering if um, you wanted to maybe talk about some options. 
Well, that's it. I need to figure out how in the heck to do it. Um, it just, I mean, I tried the gum. I didn't, I didn't think that that worked very well. Um, I know I can't do it cold turkey, so I have to figure out what to do. Okay. Well, um, did you have any ideas? Or if you would like, I can tell you about some options that have worked for some other um, patients. That would be helpful. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I'd love to tell you some. So I know you've already tried gum. There are some other over-the-counter products as well uh, for nicotine replacement therapy because I know you said you weren't worried about that. Mm -hmm. So there are patches and lozenges. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are also some prescription over uh, um, inhalers and nasal sprays. And then there's actually medications that really help with those withdrawal symptoms. They're called Zyban and Chantix. Okay. So those would be um, options, especially the prescriptions, that you would want to talk to with your physician about. What okay. do you think about those options? Well, I guess part of me really feels like um, that I need to pull out big guns on this whole thing. I need to come, you know, I need to probably take some medicine or do something like that because um, it just seems like I can't do it alone without something. Um, so I probably. But uh, on the other hand, I, um, I'm always reluctant to try a medicine, you know, without knowing more about it, without really um, reading a lot of information or finding out the pros and cons and finding out the side effects and what's more effective and all that kind of stuff. So I guess that would be something that I really would like to know, which is, you know, the nitty gritty to the medicine. Sure. Well, I can direct you to a website that might tell you more about it, and then I would recommend that you talk to your physician as well because he would have more information. Okay. But there's actually a website that is called quitsmoking.gov okay. that I would recommend um, okay. that you visit mm -hmm. if that would be helpful, and that might get into more of your concerns about the side effects. Sure. Um, okay. But then I would also ask that you tell me your physician about that. Sure. And then you said it's prescription, right? It is okay. prescription. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you have to go that direction anyway, right? Yeah, okay. 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 So thinking about that, um, maybe going the prescription route, what are some steps that you would want to take in the, in the next few weeks maybe to prepare for that, prepare for a meeting or with your, with your physician, or is there anyone that you want to talk to about this? Well, I probably have to make an appointment. <laughs> Who knows how long that will take to get in, but uh, I would think that that would, could be fairly soon. Um, and then um, I maybe looking at the website, they might have more information about the medicine. I don't know. Whenever I try to Google anything, it just there's it's just too overwhelming. I, I don't know what information to take, and you know, so direction in that way might be helpful too. To you know what's a good website, and you mentioned it once, and maybe I should check that. Um, but I, I do think I need to get going on this. I mean, that's all there is to it. So. Okay, so is there a step that you even feel that you could take in the next day or so? Could probably call and see, see when I could get in to talk to the doctor. Okay, so that sounds like a great first step. So mm -hmm. it sounds like you want to call, maybe visit the website and call your doctor to set up an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Okay. Yeah. So since you've kind of made this plan, um, you know, how hopeful are you that you are going to make this change? Well, I guess that, that, again, would depend on whether or not I, I try some of the medication, whether I whether it works. Mm -hmm. You know, like I tried the gum and I didn't feel like it really worked. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm open to it, okay. for sure. Are you thinking there's something else you might want in addition to the medication? I don't know. Maybe, you know, I guess part of me feels like I'm, I'm so alone in this whole conversation alone in this whole um, trial kind of thing that it, it, it's um, maybe yeah, you know I don't I don't feel like my husband's supportive but um, I don't know you know he, he's sort of worried <laughs> my daughter's just crabbing at me um, so maybe somebody to talk to would be good too I mean that was why I started here mm -hmm. to talk to somebody it sounds like you're not getting the support that you need at home, yeah, and maybe, maybe they're just doing the best they can. But maybe there's some more support someplace that I can find. I don't know. Okay. 
Um, so I, again, I can tell you some information um, that I've worked for some other mm -hmm. folks who've been trying to quit smoking, if that would be okay with you. Mm -hmm. um, some people do find that it's helpful to see uh, a therapist just to talk to you about their feelings. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.